Hi guys, Marcus here, Pipe Breaks and Guns. So, as you can see, I'm in the car, going down to our, our little store, our local point or drop point for picking up and dropping off packages. I received a little little note in the in the mail today, which is looks a bit weird so I don't really know what it is but it could be one thing that I uh, that I'm waiting on and I know that on that little package it was actually incorrectly written address so I think most of the times it, it arrives anyways because it's uh, my last name my family name it's really really unusual it's it's a name that my my dad came up with uh, when he got married to my mom so they they chose that name or they took that name so to speak um, so I think this could be actually some tobacco I traded with a guy from a Swedish pipe smoker uh, Facebook, Facebook group so I have some aromatic tobaccos, but I don't smoke that much of those uh, at the moment uh, because I'm much more into Englishes, vapors, and that kind of tobacco. So, so I actually traded some uh, Kohlhause and Cobb Easter blend or Easter edition tobacco. Uh, it was a hundred gram tin from the start. I think I measured it up to like. 70 or 68 grams uh, I also throw in some samples of other uh, aromatics I have uh, so he, uh, he actually got much more than, than he bargained for uh, anyways and I traded that for a 50 gram tin of frog morton on the town so that's a yes I, I always wanted to try it out uh, Unfortunately, it's an open tin. He had one bowl of it or a half of a bowl, just a taste of it. And he's an aromatic smoker, so he was like, eh, no, not my, my cup of tea. Anyway, so I hope it's that one because I usually get those kind of soft uh, packages uh, or, you know, these padded envelopes in my mailbox at the house. Uh, it's just bigger boxes and other kind of stuff that goes to this drop point So let's let's hope it's the tobacco. Otherwise, I will be pleasantly surprised I guess it depends on what it is but anyways uh, Some news about uh, the hundred sub giveaway uh, at the moment It's 19. I think it's 19 tickets so to speak so it's it's less people that actually I'm in on it so it's more that those who made a VR get two tickets so it's roughly a 5% chance of winning the, the, the giveaway for any one of these people uh, and a bit higher than for for uh, the guys who had two tickets I need I think I need to recalculate that sorry Anyways, um, I'm still uh, thinking of some some added stuff to put in the box, and I, I just uh, you know remember one thing that could be pretty funny if if the package goes abroad and, and does not stay in Sweden because all the Swedes will know about this one. Uh, I know that my my wife will most likely go on a day cruise to uh, Finland or to. Holland uh, next week because I start working I start work at Mon on Monday so they will uh, go there with some other friends in, in the same neighborhood as we live in and uh, she could probably buy that on the boat uh, a little hint is that it's a it's a candy but it has some something to do with pipe smoking really weird huh Anyways, um, so that's one thing. Uh, as soon as I get back to the office uh, on, 
Monday I will uh, look into the different kind of frames that IKEA has or I'll go to another shop that has frames I don't want to buy something that's you know overly overly huge because I need to ship it uh, because I've seen some frames that are 50 times 50 centimeters which are quite quite big and you know when you ship it off but uh, then again you know if I do uh, print stuff uh, which are a bit larger then those would be quite large but I most likely will divide it up into two different boxes so the prints will come in one and like a round tube and the other stuff will come in a regular box I think that's that's the easiest way depending on the size of the things that the winner wants to have printed so I have a bit of a pain in the ass situation here on the road right down to the centrum or where, where this drop point is because they're putting some big freaking natural gas or like pipes down into uh, into the ground and they only have one lane open so it's this one lane traffic with the special uh, red lights here and it takes for ages to switch over. I was lucky, it turned green directly. So, so that's it on on, uh, on this giveaway. Up, up, up. Well, please tell your friends, you know, to subscribe to my channel, join the giveaway. Uh, even if you don't do a VR, doesn't matter can win anyways um, and I'll pause the video now and you'll I'll be back in a second yeah I'm just going to uh, park and get in and pick up the package bye bye I'm back well here's the package it is what I thought it was it just I got that stupid thing in my mailbox because it was the wrong address on it anyways I could smell it without opening the package it's a tin from Morton on the town I will put this in the mason jar when I get back so it looks like it hasn't been touched mm, smells wonderful so big props to the to my new friend on, uh, on the Swedish pipe smokers Facebook group Frederick Svensson thank you Frederick uh, now I get back home. Uh, one other thing, I think it was was it two days ago or two days ago or no, it was yesterday. I've been feeling a bit crappy lately, um, or uh, my throat has been acting up on me, been really you know sore in the throat. And yesterday I went to the doctors, and I got tonsillitis. So no wonder my throat is fucked up. You know, I already surgically removed my, uh, what they call the tonsils uh, in my 20s, mid 20s, so quite late. But that made my throat, you know, I'll, I didn't get sick that much after that. Anyway, so I got some penicillin yesterday. So uh, I'm already feeling better because I was feeling really, really crappy. That, Two, uh, last two days you know a bit of a fever my body ached and everything like that so I had you know one and a half days of this penicillin right now and it's fucking working which is great I also went to the barber today because tomorrow I'm going to a wedding with my wife um, so I I got my hair cut and my beard trimmed a bit. First time I go to someone and get my beard trimmed. So it was interesting. They took care of me, you know, warm towel and everything and and shaved me with a straight razor where the small parts here on my neck. Uh, so that was nice. So I'll uh, let you guys be for the time being and take care and have a nice evening. Cheers.